If you work in customer service, what's the one thing you never thought you would have to explain to an adult? Yes! It's mine, baby! That water doesn't have calories! All right, let's get to it. So I was 16 years old. I worked at the Wendy's. This middle-aged blonde woman comes up to me and I'm working the counter and goes, Oh my God, the water here is so good. Does it have calories? And I was an asshole. But I looked at her and said, um, actually, yeah, it does. It has about 17 calories. We tend to put a little bit of Splenda in it from the machine to make sure you guys like it. And so you guys get more of it. Completely jipping the shit out of her. She looked at me with such intense disbelief. I just blew all the paradigms. And she goes, wow. That's so smart! <laughs> and I'm sitting there agreeing as I write my two weeks notice with blood. And she runs off and then the person behind her goes, Is there really 17 calories in the water? I said, No. I'm just bored. So I used to work at guest services on board a cruise ship. And a guest was really, really mad, came up to the desk, started yelling and pounding on the desk. And said, I booked a sea few cabin. All I can see is the parking lot. Sir, my apologies, but um, actually we haven't left port yet. So in an hour, when we leave, you will have an ocean view cabin. That's impossible. You can't work magic. How can you change that in an hour? Well, sir, call me back in an hour and let me know. I got this one. I got it. Customer comes in and says, hi, I'd like to fax something. I go, okay, what's the fax number? They gave it to me. And I go, all right, and what are you faxing? She hands me $200 bills. I go, um, what are you doing? She goes, that's what I want to fax. I go, you can't fax money. You would have thought that I told her she's not allowed to breathe oxygen. What do you mean I can't? They, they need that money today. Uh, doesn't matter. This is just going to send a picture. Technically, it's counterfeiting. No, I just need to fax it to them. They're not going to get money. They'll get pictures of money. What do you mean? No, don't send pictures of money. Fax them the money. Y'all, this went on for 20 more minutes. She was 100% convinced that our machine was going to take the money, break it down into millions of little pieces, and send it on over. Just like Willy Wonka. Mm -hmm. I don't remember, I used to work at Sonic. I definitely have a lot of freaking stories, but this one. So we were kind of really slow one day. I want to say it was like raining real bad or something. Well, I take this lady's order, I tell her her total, and she kind of speeds up to the window real fast. Before I can even open the window, she's sitting there knocking on it. So I was just kind of like, uh, yes ma'am, you had this? And she was like, yeah, I don't understand the price. So I sit there showing her the receipt. And she was like, well, on your menu, it says it's this much, but the total is this much. And I was like, oh, ma'am, that's after tax. She's like, what do you mean tax? Mind you, this is like a 40 something year old woman. And I'm like, tax, you know, tax. She's like, I didn't agree to pay tax. <laughs> I was like, ma'am, that's not something you agree to. It's just, it's just how it works. She was like, well, I'll pay for the food and not the tax. I was like, it, it doesn't work that way. You have to pay the tax. She's like, whatever, I'm not dealing with this and just sped away. Apparently this grown ass woman's never heard of the concept of taxes. I have another one. Um, woman came in wanting to do a return. I was like, okay, looks right here that you did paid using a credit card so it'll automatically go back on the credit card. Hands her the receipt after the transaction. You're all set, have a nice day. What? You're all set, have a nice day. But how do I know that you did the return? Well, you have the receipt in your hand that is showing that the money went back to your card. But how do I know that you actually put it back on my credit card? Because it says on the bottom of the receipt that the money went back to your credit card. But how do I know that you didn't just do it as cash and pocketed the money? Because the bottom of the receipt says your credit card number instead of cash. But I still don't know if you pocketed the money or not. Ma'am, it says on the bottom of your receipt that it went back to your credit card. She called customer service right in front of me asking if they could verify that I did the return. And they said, well, do you have the receipt showing that the money went back to your credit card? Yes. Then she did the return for you and you don't have anything to worry about. I don't eat lobster because it's alive when they kill it. I'll have a steak. Oh, buddy. How do you get all the boats in the harbor parked in the same direction? How, how? What's the name of this lake? That's the Atlantic Ocean. But the best, the ultimate winner. I had a man come into a restaurant I worked at and asked for drawn butter with his lobster. And I brought him some drawn butter with his lobster. And he was like, this isn't real butter. And I was like, sir, it is real butter. And he was like, can you melt a stick of butter and bring it out? And I was like, sure. So I melted a stick of butter and I brought it out. And he was like, I don't want this because it looks the same as the other stuff. And I was like, because that's also butter. This is butter. And he was like, can you take the little butter foils and unwrap them and melt them? Because that's real butter. So I did that. And I brought it out. And he was like, this also looks the same. And I was like, because it's all fucking butter.
I cannot help I you, can't sir. I can't help you. I can't help you. So I used to manage a restaurant, and one day this lady comes in and she's complaining about her tacos. So I go over and talk to her, and I'm like, "What seems to be the problem with the tacos?" And she looks at the menu. She's like, "Aren't they supposed to be soft shell?" I'm like, "Well, they are soft shell." She like, "Mine were hard." And I look down at her plate and seeing what leftovers there are, and there's no parchment paper. So I ask her, like, "Ma'am, did you?" Eat the parchment paper around the tacos. She like, pulls this tiny little speck of paper. She's like, "You mean this?" I'm like, yeah. She's like, "Oh, I thought those were the taco shells." No, that was the parchment paper. She ate two full pieces of parchment paper wrapped around her tacos. The entire things. They were all gone. And then I sat there and explained to her the difference between parchment paper and taco shells. Working at the bank, you see literally like the dumbest people. I'm not even trying to be mean, but I swear this is probably like one of the ones to stand out the most to me because I'm like, oh my God, like how old are you? Five? So this non-customer, if you guys work at the bank, you already know what that means. This non-customer wanted to cash a check that did not even belong to us, meaning the check was not from our bank. It was from bank XYZ. This guy wanted to cash a check when we couldn't even verify funds. And he said, we'll call the company. I'm like, sir, we need a checking account in order for me to cash the check against, because if this check was to come back, we can remove, we can deduct the funds from your account. What, what do you not understand? We cannot cash this check unless you have an account with us. And he said, well, you can't just call. It's a bank. All the banks are the same. Sir, no, that's not how it works. What the? I've got the perfect thing for this. I used to work in a Barnes and Noble. Now, if you don't know, the only people that shop at Barnes and Noble are old people. Other people can shop there too, but it's less likely because during the day, the retirees come out and they come buy books. Also, the only people to actually buy those sexy novels are over 65, but that's another story. Anyway, a guy came up and he had a book that had the little uh, torn edges. It's just an aesthetic choice that publishers make sometime when they want to make their books look old. But anyway, he brings it to the counter and he says, this book is ruined. I said, no, that's just a choice by the publisher. It's meant to look rugged. It's totally fine. And he says, I've never seen another book like this. And I said, well, that doesn't mean that there aren't books like that. And he said, I haven't seen any other books like that. So I point to the nearest shelf and say, here are three different books that have this exact same thing. And he says, I don't believe it. Follow up for part two. Okay, part two. So this guy that thought that the little tears on the ends of pages for aesthetic choice was a mistake. He doesn't believe me after I show him these other books that have the exact same choice. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's the thing that Taylor Despero has on the edge of it, if you remember that. Anyway, I show him the books and he seems disappointed and so he walks away. Later, he comes back to the counter with three other books and he says, these are also ruined. And I say, well, no, that's 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 my point is that it's it's common across books it's not that the books are, are ruined it's it, not all of our books are ruined and then he leaves again and he actually comes back with a different book which is actually torn but in a totally different place and if you know what i'm talking about you would know that the little tears on the ends of the pages happen every like 20 pages or so like in the exact same way they're for sure manufactured but this guy could not believe it would not believe it. my manager ended up coming up and confirming what i said he just left Hey, welcome. How may I help you today? Hi, may I have one of these raspberry donuts? Sure thing. Do you want it in a bag or do you want it on a serviette to eat now? Um, I'll have it in a bag to take away, please. Yeah, yeah, no worries. And do you want to pay by cash or by card? I'll just tap my phone if that's all right. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. It's ready for you. Bing. There we go. Thank you very much. Have yourself a good day. Thank you. You too. By the way, what is a raspberry? Well, it's a fruit, isn't it? This is not really nothing to explain, but this is just a little rant. If your total came out to seventeen sixty-seven, and you already gave me the $20 bill and I already put it in the register, I don't want to hear about the 50 cents you found. <laughs> Keep the same energy. <laughs> because now I got to mess around. You give me the 50 cents. I got to mess around do the Pythagorean theorem trying to figure out your change. I, I'm not a calculator, ma'am. This icy I just bought, I don't want it anymore. What? This icy is too cold. You want me to put it in the microwave? Okay, smartass, that's incredibly rude. How about you go get your boss? Yo. Hi, I just bought this icy from this gentleman and I want to return it because it's too cold. Well, ma'am, you can't return, wait, what? I said this icy is too cold.
Bitch, you want me to put it in the microwave? Hi, what can I get started for you today? Hi, I just want a medium latte and a medium mocha with whipped cream. Awesome, all right, your total for that's going to be 845. Thank you. Anything else I can get for you? The drinks? Oh, of course, I'm sorry, I actually haven't left this spot yet, but once I do leave this spot, I will go ahead and go get started on your drinks, and then once I finish them, I will bring them out when they are ready. You will have to wait, though. Oh, what time's the five o'clock parade? It's at five o'clock. It was in the question. It's like the magic, it was in you the whole time. So I used to work at KFC and it's very common for people to come in and say, oh, I want a bargain bucket with no leg pieces. Um, but this one day a policeman came in and he said, I want a 12 piece bargain bucket with all breast pieces. Be prepared. I'm about to say breast a lot of times. So I said, oh, do you mean uh, the boneless bucket with the chicken breast strips? He said no. He wanted a 12 piece bargain bucket with all breast pieces. So I told him, no, sorry, he couldn't have that. So he went into this long speech about how he's a policeman and the least that I could do is sort him out a bucket with all of these breast pieces. And in the end, I had to interrupt and say, sir, there is one breast piece on a chicken. That is 12 dead chickens. We don't even cook that many chickens at once. You're completely missing the chicken logistics. He was real mad about it, but we move. About 12 breast pieces, get out, son. If it says 50% off and the item is... 20 pounds it will be a tenner this is a cute story i worked at the apple store for like seven years and one of my favorite interactions i'll always remember is this old lady came up to me and said i'm here to buy the internet and i was like what and she's like i need to get the internet where is it and she gestured to her wall of product so i was like okay hold on so I chat with her for a little bit and I figure out she lives alone and her grandson said she needs to get internet. So she comes into the Apple store having never been thinking internet is like a product. Like you get internet off the shelf, come home and now you have internet. So I was like, oh no. So I explained to her A to Z what the internet is, call the cable company that can come to her house, set her up an appointment. I explained to her she's going to hate talking to them anytime she has to, but it's part of life, get ready. Set her up with a monthly plan, got her an iPad, showed her how to use iMessage so she can talk to her grandson and how to like Google stuff and whatever. But I will always just remember the old lady who came into the Apple store to buy the internet. If you work in customer service, what's the one thing you never thought you would have to explain to an adult? I'll go first. Um, a woman called me and asked where her item for delivery was. I asked her, um, you know, what's the date that you placed your order? She gave me the date of two days prior. I reminded her that when she purchased the item, she agreed and acknowledged the fact that it would take a week for her item to arrive. And she said, yeah, I'm aware of that, but it's been two days. Where is it? So I said, well, if it's been two days and it takes a week, then there are five days left. It'll be there in five days. And she said, no. And so I said, well, when did you expect it to arrive? And she said, by now. And I said, but it hasn't been a week. And she insisted that it had. So I was like, ma'am, how many days do you think are in a week? Then she hung up and we never heard from her again.